Good morning. How are you doing today, intern? Oh, man, look at our happy little families. Well, sort of happy. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to take your advice. I saw those notes that you left on my desk. Very good of you to be doing that independent research. And we'll remove some of the trees in here. I can see how it can definitely be a little bit crowded for our open field loving... Hmm, yeah, talk about crowded, jeez. For our open field loving little three horns here. Ah, let's see. Hi, little bye bye. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, they're so happy. Look at that. Playing with their salt licks. But yeah, why don't we come down here and work at getting some of these trees out? We'll just put them over here. You know how I feel about trees and their awesomeness, so we won't get rid of any. I did see that other note you left me about how we could just sell off the trees for money, but we're not going to be those kinds of people. Let's see, put this up here. Really wondering if we should have bothered with this odd little one down here. But, I don't know. Maybe they'll be a big hit. They're already ranking in quite a few donations for being so new. And the guests seem to enjoy them. The guests also really seem to enjoy the really beautiful parkway that we've laid out. You guys have been... Oh, my, the intern, you intern, that's what I'm trying to say, have been such a huge help at building this park with all your suggestions. And also it's so nifty that we don't have to pay you. That's just the breaks, you know? Let's see, maybe we can help our little ones out here. Come on, grab the shovel. We're gonna try. Let's see, can we smooth stuff out a wee bit? Hmm. I think we're doing it. There we go. Provide a little more open space. So things aren't quite as tricky and difficult for everyone to reach. Mm-hmm. Smoothing down those hills. If we do this, that should go faster. There we go. Nice open fields. Now this is kind of the point where we're taking over and not letting things look as natural as they did when we first opened up this area. But come on, at some point we have to just kind of fight a bit with nature and do what's best for our animals. Speaking of which, let's check on everybody. Let's see, Velociraptors. Velociraptors still seem to be doing quite good. I'm thinking we'll add another tar pit over here just to help with the, you know, heat. And plus it looks really cool. Appearances are really important in a zoo. Speaking of which, I'm going to be visiting a zoo in another area tomorrow. Should be quite educational. I'll see if I can steal any awesome secrets and bring them back, yeah? Hmm, we're struggling to retain our four stars. Quite a few guests. Hmm, seems like the guests have really started to meander over towards our newer exhibits. That's okay, Quagga. Our little Jennifer. Still getting plenty of attention. Oh, the babies are so cute. So maybe we could put something over here. Uh, you know, like, not on the waterfall, but across the waterfall. Oh, hey, pretty, pretty parrot! Oh, it's so pretty. Hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, maybe there could be, like, another fancy... Ooh, yeah! Let's put a really fancy restaurant up here. Can't you just see it? Everyone will really like it. We need to start bringing... Oh, hey, there's a fossil. Let's get the fossil. We need to start bringing in the big bucks anyway. And what better way to bring in the big bucks than to open up a fancy smancy pants restaurant? Sweet. What was that? That was so cool. All right, let's get up here. See, there's even a ton of mushrooms. I'm pretty sure they're poisonous, but if not, you know, they could be used in some really fancy, crazy, awesome dishes. Oops, nope. And we can say that they're locally sourced, locally grown. Why we even use compost from our own dinosaurs? The expensive, the people with the money to spend will be among the crowd that care about those things. Let's move everything over here. And... 
Yeah, this will be awesome. Getting a nice fancy. Come here, you. Gotcha. A nice fancy restaurant in here. Yes, let's see. Hmm. Make sure it can fit. Oh, maybe we should add another entertainment area. What do you think? Another stage where we can have performers perform on one side and then people go in and get yummy things to eat on the other side. Hmm. What else can we add? Photo booth, pony rides. Let's see, shish kebab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The fancy restaurant. Research done on that. It's gonna be that big, so we'll probably put it like right here, right here, maybe right here, and then have a restroom behind it because people always need to go to the bathroom around here. Well, there's a restroom down there, so it should be okay. So we can put it right over here, have it overlooking the waterfall. And then, entertainment right here. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All this pollen that's popping up. Let's see. Whoa! We've earned more than 100,000 animal donations since we started the zoo. That is absolutely amazing. I would have never guessed we earned that much money. It um, like always, always feels like we're struggling to have any money. Let's, let's see. Get this up here. Yeah. One over, maybe? That way people can hmm. put it right here. Then I think it'll be easier if people can get up there. Yeah, okay. And now to make it so that people can actually walk up there. Let's get out the shovel again. Honestly. They didn't tell you that in class either, did they? that half your job at this zoo, at any zoo really, is working with nature, quite literally. Whoa, Wilfred, what are you doing back there? Ugh. That was just silly, Wilfred. We moved all the trees so you can have a ton more space and you're still having issues like that. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Hmm? Oh, sweet. They are using the cave. I was worried that they wouldn't enjoy the cave for a good rest. But here we are. Resting in the rock shelter. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Maybe it's this high cliff that's really confusing them though, so let's try flattening the terrain back here a little bit. Fighting against nature, I tell you. Now we need... Rainforest. There we go. Okay. Aha! A fancy restaurant can be built now. We've got the permits for it. They're gonna sell delicate little cheesecakes with fancy names. And then shoot it over here. Let's put it right here. Oh yeah. Selling themselves delicate little cheesecake and shish kebabs with like gourmet mushrooms. And you know that, that coffee that's made from the cats that poop the coffee beans out and then they turn it into coffee? Yeah, there's coffee like that. It's real coffee like that and it's extremely expensive. It's like $98 a cup and we're going to be selling that kind of coffee. Why? Because people will pay the money for it, that's why. And we will reap the benefits. Now, let's see. Well, let's get some more decorations. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get a couple cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Some torches. And then. Is there anything? Stone. Hmm. Is this stone arch or is it wooden arch? Can we put. Like right there, yeah. But maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want it. Whoa, that was a vulture. I hope everybody in the zoo is doing okay. Now I feel nervous, like we need to go check on them. Put 
this right here. And then that. All right. Now, you may be wondering, how are we going to attract people? How are we going to attract people to our new fancy schmancy restaurant with its cat poop coffee? Well, that's quite simple. We're going to put an awesome exhibit on this side. Hmm. Let's scratch this over there. You guys doing okay? So that's the problem. Need to scoot the rock shelter, I think. Let's sell the rock shelter. And then build a new one. Because they're having some issues with it. I mean, it's not like they're the brightest bulbs in the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now they shouldn't have so much trouble. They should just be able to recognize it, sleep in it, and then walk out of it. And it's so pretty. Velociraptors seem to be doing alright. Let's work on our fancy, smancy, fancy restaurant. Oh, look, we already have some people visiting it. Fantastic. Ooh, every fancy restaurant needs some fountains. Come on. We'll have fountains set up around. Let's see. The entertainment stand. There's the entertainment. Hmm, maybe we should move it, like, right there. To give people a little more space so they don't crowd the people who are trying to go in. There's that. Now let's add a couple fountains. Like that. Hmm. What's that? A bounce house! Oh, we need that for the kids. We definitely need that for the kids. music over here. There we go. And let's stick an entertainer out here. Sabertooth Cat. Just like that. Perfect. Wonderful. Already raking in the profit. $20. Alright. We should do something exciting over here. A new fantastic exhibit to attract people through the fancy restaurant area. Let's add another one with the wooden arches because they are so cool. Yeah, wooden arches. Hmm. A more complicated complex dinosaur is called for. Because that's certainly... Oh, common zebra 3 is giving birth. That's baby time! Oh my gosh! Oh, welcome! Welcome, little bitty baby! How are you? Good job, Mama! This family is just growing so much! Oh, you guys. So happy for all of you. Jerry, you're probably very happy. You've got two mates, a bazillion children. Oh, wonderful. Might have to expand this pretty soon. They're getting pretty crowded. If we find any more savanna animals, then we can add them in there. You know, as long as they're not going to eat them. That's always an important factor to remember. I mean, theoretically, we could get something set up that's so awesome. Everything. Bush and their deer. Hmm. That everything would manage itself okay, but. Hmm. Anthosaurus. Are we close to fossils? Hmm. Hmm. Should we go fossil hunting for a little bit? That sounds like it might be a good idea. Oof, there we go. Gotta get out of here. Well, let's might as well check the enclosure, see if there's anything in here. Ooh, and our bounce house is complete. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Good, I thought this was open for a second. That would have been a tragedy. Dun, 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 dun. Oof. Wiggle out of here. Wait, why are you unhappy, young child? Are you stuck? Can't find anything to do. Why, my little friend? Why don't you dig in here? 
I can reassure you, it's quite entertaining. Ooh, the gift cart. Good job. What? More space needed? I think I know what's wrong. It was stuck. Man, these guys aren't that smart, are they? That's okay. That's why we're here. We're the ones managing the zoo. My goodness, look at that. There have been quite a few pieces collected. That's going to turn into something awesome. I hope we can keep it and put it somewhere. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, fossil finding. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Yes, I hope you're enjoying the zoo. Thank you very much for the donation. Love that you've got the fanny pack, backpack, and hat. That's just awesome. Oh, look at... What? What, what is this tree doing in the middle of the path? Look, I love the trees and all, but that is not the place, tree fern. Not the place at all. That's better. Honestly, that was just silly. I bet everybody was just wondering what on earth we were up to. Alright. What? What? There's something on the other side. I went back in. Where's the freaking gate on this thing? Hmm, let's see. Can I get in? Can I get in? Where's the gate? Don't tell me I forgot a gate! How are my zookeepers going to tend to the wee ones? Alright, intern, I'm gonna have to throw you over the side of the fence to take care of the animals. <laughs> so, go on. Get in there. Clean up the poop. Restock the hay. Check to make sure it's clean inside all the enclosure areas. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's such an oversight. Don't mention that to anybody, okay? I got your back, you got mine. I promise not to tell people what it sounds like when you snore. If you promise not to tell people, I forgot to put in the gate. That is a fair deal. Oh, come on, intern. I told you to restock all of it. Oh, never mind. Those are mushrooms. Oh, good. There was a gate. And a giant hole. Ah. Dodo seemed to be doing quite well. Bessie, did you lay your egg? Oh, Bessie, are you laying your egg right now? I do believe Bessie's laying her egg. Good girl, there you go. Look, your mate's even here to cheer you on. Preening your feathers and whatnot. Nope, I guess she was just resting. My goodness, it's dirty in here. Perhaps we need to hire more help now. We can afford it. Let's have you come on, ma'am. You're gonna help out in this very busy enclosure, and you're gonna take care of this. Oh, now Bessie's laying the egg. Bessie, 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 Bessie. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Bessie. I'll refill those. Oh, there's some poop. Gotta clean that up. Ah, got it. <gasps> Bessie! Oh, there's the little dodo egg. Thank you so much, Bessie. Oh, that's awesome. Jaguar, too, died of old age. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the jaguars were that old already. Oh wow. Are there any jaguars that we could adopt? Add to the family? Kangaroo? Scrip. That's a black leopard. Um, not quite what we're looking for. Doing good there. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, don't need the goblin shark. Doing okay without the spectacle bear. <gasps> the red panda. Those guys are pretty popular. And they're endangered. Oh man. Well, do you think adding endangered species... Well, we're trying to stick mostly to extinct species. Focus! Focus! Oh man, I'm so bad at focusing right now. Sorry. There's just so much to take care of here at the zoo, yeah? I mean, you start on one thing, and then you turn around, and before you know it, you've got to take care of something completely different. Sir, please move. Thank you, sir. Hmm, I'll have to fix that. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Now there was apparently some fossils in here. Gotcha. All 
right. We might want something more exotic than what we've had to choose from. Good grief, it's just nuts in there. No wonder they're always complaining. I wouldn't be able to get anywhere or do anything either. There, hopefully that'll help a little bit. They already seem happier. Whew, all right, where were we? Fossil hunting. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun! Hunting for the fossils! Hunting for the fossils! <laughs> oh, found another piece! Hmm. Gotta fix those. Gotta fix these crazy paths. People need like a frickin' four wheeler just to get around our park. And not because of the size. Though it would be wonderful if we could add a tram. I've been thinking lately about adding a jeep area, a little uh, safari toury thing. Good guy text message that the velociraptors are growing, growing well, meeting their. Uh, uh, uh. Gotcha. There we go. How do we do? Ooh, an elephant bird! Are you kidding me? Let's find more of those pieces. They have to be around here somewhere. Elephant bird would be so cool. Ah, there we go. We're finding lots of pieces. Hmm. Good, good, good. Whoa! Slid down that hill a little bit, but I think we might have a dinos. Dinicus. Look, I have to admit something. I mispronounce things all the time. I make up my own names for these dinosaurs because I suck at it. Latin is not my strong suit. I tried every language out there and Latin was not one of them that I could handle. There's another piece of the elephant bird! The quest for the elephant bird is totally on right now. Let's see. Oh, a silicon elephant? Now this is getting interesting. Alright, dig carefully. Don't chip anything. Ha, found it! These fossil hunters were such a wonderful discovery. Can you imagine having to do it the old fashioned way of just walking around till you found like a piece of dirt and you just start digging? Ah, another piece of a dwarf elephant. Mmm, the dwarf silicon elephant. Now that would be quite interesting. Oh, there's some fossil pieces out there that have been marked. Nothing up here. Alright, let's get these ones. What's in that one? The elephant! Oh, these elephant fossils are so thrilling! Maybe that'll be what we put over on the other side. The elephant? No. Yes, yes, yes. The elephant bird seems the most interesting. Let's see, dig here. Hmm! We've got to find something really, really awesome that we can put into that spot so people go to our fancy, expensive restaurant. Hmm, there's some. Oh man, in the water. What the heck? Roots. Well, you know how much I enjoy leeches in my underwear, so go for it, intern. Promise I'll help. Okay, okay, come on, quick. Gotta move quick. Whoa. You know, I'm not afraid of snakes. I love snakes. My best friends have tons of snakes. I would have snakes if, you know, the people I live with weren't afraid of snakes. But the idea of being in the water, just as an anaconda comes running by, oh, it gives me goosebumps. Well, you know, not running, because they don't have legs. Sliding, gliding, slithering, swimming by. All right. So. We're working on the dwarf elephant and the elephant bird. Maybe we could put both of them over there. Elephant, side by side. Hmm, not sensing anything. Oh, oh, wait for it. Oh my gosh, no, wait, not in the water. 
Okay, 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 okay. What again? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh my gosh, gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown and I'm gonna get eaten. And there's probably leeches in places I don't even want to think about. <sighs> Nasty. Uh, again with the water. No, 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 no. Okay, we can now construct that fossil set. Oh. Looky over there. Someone's been a busy bee marking them out for us. Look at her go. Between the two of us, we'll find the elephant bird in no time. Come on. Come on. Yes, I know. I hear you, little fossil finder. Good job. Can't stay out in the field too long. I'm getting all these text updates about some of our animals growing, some of them laying eggs. Hey, how you doing? Good job. She's really got the most lonely job, just out here in the middle of nowhere, looking for bones of dead things. But just between you and me, it suits her personality quite well. She's a little volatile and aggressive. She just doesn't like being around other people. She gets along great with frogs, though. Has a whole collection of them. Let's see, how's this one? Yes, another piece of the elephant bird. So I want to find this elephant bird. Another piece of elephant bird. Another piece! We're getting close. There must have been a whole bunch of them that died over here all those eons ago. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's picking something up. Not the water again. Not the water. Not the water. Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. Oh, I can just. Feel them all over me, gross. Goosebumps. Just nasty goosebumps. Oh, my socks are just soaked now. I might have to take a break soon just so I can get a good shower. Come on, fossil thing. I did not just suffer through all that water and risking anaconda death, even though, you know, they don't usually bother humans. I know that. The rational side of me knows that. The rational side of me loves snakes. And yet, for some reason, they're just freaking me out right now. Let's go in here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The quagga's growing up. What is that a piece of? Didn't tell me. Whoa! Careful for that slope there. It is rather steep. Oh. Yes! Wow, really snuck up on that piece. Dwarf elephant. Oof, oof, not so worried about the clean water we have. Gotta get over there. Watch out, guys! Excuse me. Gotta explore this enclosure. Almost there with the elephant bird. It's a whole new animal that we're gonna bring back to life just for y'all. Hmm. What's that piece of? Oh, yes, we're almost there. Hello everyone in this enclosure, how are you doing? Look at them interact. Oh, that's fantastic. Jennifer is now pregnant. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're an odd duck. Alright. That is fantastic. Jennifer! Jennifer! Congratulations! I am going to have to expand the quagga area. I just know it. It's gonna be time to do that soon. Hmm. A little more fossil hunting, because we're just two fossils away from... Oh, come on. I saw it. I saw it. It was beeping. It was, it was pointing at something. I just know it. Come on. Come on. Through here. Just a couple more fossils. And then we'll be able to bring back the elephant bird from extinction. Ah, oh, it just appeals to the mad scientist in you, doesn't it? And then we'll stick it in a pen so people can look at it and learn about it and hopefully not kill it. Oh, I don't know, it might go the way of the dodo. 
Now that they've been rebreeding the dodos, they've become... Dang it, that's not what we wanted, but that's okay. They've become like the next chicken. They do breed quite easy though. Yes, just one more piece. One more piece and we will have our elephant bird. Man, it's really muddy over here. Might have to plant some new grass seeds. Ancient fossils that have been lying in the dirt for hundreds of thousands of years. I'm using my fossil hunter, trying to find you. So we can bring back that ancient DNA that was successful in its time of day. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. We'll bring back the elephant bird. Put it next to our fancy restaurant that sells cat food, poop cafe. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? No, it's not. What about this one? Yes? Yes, we did it! Quick! Hurry! All right, let's do this. We're bringing back the elephant bird.